for the entire marathon originally planned. So hopefully tomorrow we'll hit 400, maybe even more. So we are heading to the Taz run that Earl and Alexis will be showing us with a uh, rebel still doing commentary. So we're going to them. Hang on, we're having a little technical difficulties. <laughs> Okay, you should have you should have Mike from me now. Hey, can you hear me now? Uh, okay, awesome. Sorry about that, everybody. That was totally my bad. Uh, I had some issues with my stream, but we're 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 back. Um, all right. So, final uh, run of mine for this marathon. Um, so yes, my so actually funny enough, playful. That actually went out for a different reason. My mic has some issues. I'm actually looking to get a new interface right now. Um, but so this is going to be an interesting little showcase for us here. Um, so as you guys, uh, if you just saw, uh, Alexis and I did a race of, uh, of the all levels category for this game. So this is going to show you an IL TAS for the take it on the chin level, which is the level that has all of those glider climb glitches that are frame perfect. And if you get, if you can get three in a row frame perfectly, we don't need the pogo stick at all, um, or four in a row. So you're going to, we're going to get to show that off now and you'll see why that's not exactly viable for RTA. Um, so without too much further ado, let's, let's go ahead and play this. And this is on my YouTube, so you can see this if you want to view this later. Sounds a little glitchy, by the way, because emulator doesn't run super great for me. All right, so you'll notice we're going to do the stars in the opposite order than we did them in the run. Um, we're, uh, and then we have to do that little run jump there to get over that gap because we don't have the pogo stick. Um, and so doing the items in this order is actually faster normally as well. Um, even if you're going to get the pogo stick, but that jump across the pit that we did is like really tight. And if you miss it, it, lo it you're losing time over getting pogo first. So I, I get pogo first in order to lose. I lose about four, four or five seconds, but I don't have to do that trick. All right. So up and, and so we're not going to get pogo at all, like I stated. Um, and so we saw that setup that I did where I used the pogo stick um, to set up the, this next glider climb. But we're going to use a glider climb to set up a glider climb here. So we're going to do a glider climb on this cutscene. And we're going to use the glider to get up here, which we used the pogo stick for before. And then we're going to do an infinite hover by canceling the wish and using it on the same frame. And then it's going to take us... And the reason we do the infinite hover on top of that is because it puts us at the perfect height to go through this door without hitting the cutscene. Because we want to use this cutscene to do a glider climb. Um, and if we do it on the other side of the door, we will hit a uh, like a floor above us. So this skips uh, a number of rooms. This saves about 35 seconds. Um, and then we're going to do another infinite hover here, as we did in the run, uh, to skip needing the freeze ray, which we don't have. Um, and then we're going to do uh, uh, kind of the same stuff we do in the run here. We're just going to hover over and get on the elevator. Unfortunately, there like isn't any way to speed this up at all without pogo stick. With the pogo stick, you can speed it up a little bit. Oh, also, I'm going to do a little swag strat here just for fun. Um, you can hover over from the lower platform. It's just a bit tight. Um, cause if you don't get it at the very bottom, it won't work. And that run jump is really tight. Um, that's why we don't go for it in the run. Um, it does save a little bit of time, but, uh, it's really easy to miss. And if you miss it, you lose a ton of time. And I'm going to run around the right side of the worm there, which is a little bit faster, but really hard to see. And then I'm going to do another glider climb here. Which I am going to... So this is all... We have to do this because we don't have the pogo stick. So we did a glider climb to get on top of that to do an infinite hover over here. And 
the reason we have to go all the way over here is because this gives us just barely enough height um, to get past. There's a, a big ledge over here that we normally pogo up. But since we don't have the pogo stick, we have to go over across the room to get just enough height in order to get on top of this guy. Um, and so that that was that's uh, allows us to, to skip the pogo, which makes low percent possible. And then again, we need pogo here, but we can glider climb with this button. And I go for this in runs, but rarely get it um, because it just puts you to the top of this room. By the time the cutscene's over, it saves like 25 seconds, uh, which is a so pretty. This is a, this is a pogo list task. <laughs> yeah, this is a low percent task. Uh, I believe that not getting pogo is is technically faster, um, but it's no in no way RTA viable. All right, and then we got early Olga here. So again, we're gonna glide into the cutscene in order to move around during the cutscene, and then we're gonna come over here to set up for the last glider climb which is the hardest. Um, this glider climb, there are two frames in between these cutscenes. This is one cutscene right here. And then this is another cutscene. And there's two frames in between. If you hit the glider on the second of the two frames, you will get a glider climb. If you hit it on the first frame, it won't work. So you have to hit it. It's frame perfect in between two cutscenes. And if you're a frame off in either direction, it won't work as usual. But if even if you are able to mash on in between the cutscenes, you only have a 50% chance of getting it. So then we're way above the level, and we can just fall right onto this button here, um, which skips all of Reverse Olga and makes this a very quick boss fight. It turns it into mostly just cutscenes. Yeah, we do. I, I go for this glider climb RTA. Um, this last, I go for all three of these RTA, um, uh, or the three that we would uh, use the pogo to set up. Um, but uh, I, I've never gotten all. I've only gotten all three of them in a run one time, and the run failed one split later. Mm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it, basically, the the it, the moment that I get an any percent run, that I get all three glider climbs, and I can carry my normal pace through the rest of the run, will be world record in any percent. It's just getting that is very hard. Because um, there's also quint skip. So that's four frame perfect tricks in the run in the first 12 minutes. We both did the setup for it and we both missed it. That's unfortunate. But yeah, and then so this is just the same. And then right here, it ends as soon as we hit the button. And that is a 508. So to compare against my, one of my best splits, um, so my, I generally have like a six minute something time there. Um, I believe, I believe that, I believe that saves like over a minute over, uh, traditional strides, but that is the only fairly odd parents shadow showdown task that is currently made. Um, eventually I will make an all levels task. Um, but, uh, Probably not for a while. Um, mostly just because it's going to take me like 30 hours to make that. Um, but uh, yeah, Rose, do you have any anything you wanted to mention about the task? Sorry, I know I kind of talked through a lot of that. I had a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I actually had never seen the task before just now, so. <laughs> fun. Nice. Really uh, fun. Really fun to watch. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat it's a neat test. Um, eventually, this might be RTA viable if we find like a setup for glider climbs that makes them like easy to get. Um, this could be RTA viable, but unless we find a setup for every glider climb, uh, this will never be RTA viable. Um, pogo stick will almost always be faster, just because you're never gonna get all of those in a run. Uh, it's super unlikely. First glider climb actually has a pretty consistent setup. Yeah, so the the first one that we do in the run, which is uh, I can show you which one it is actually. This one right here, um, where we go into this cutscene, uh, this one we do in the run, and this one's actually really consistent because there's a setup that you can use with textures on the floor, um, but the, none of the other ones are consistent because they're all based on timing. The button one is somewhat consistent if you get the timing down, um, but only only if you can get the timing perfect. Because again, this game runs 30 FPS, so it's a 30th of a second that you have to press the button. Um, but yeah, um, I, I mean, that's it in terms of, for me uh, with the tasks and everything. Um, and so I guess that that is going to be the end of the marathon for today. Um, make sure you come back tomorrow. Uh, we have a lot of really cool runs tomorrow uh, all day again. Um, I'll be here all day tomorrow running the stream and talking to y'all in chat. So um, I'll be around tomorrow. Just not here. Not on the video, but in the chat. Um, 
Rose, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming and doing commentary with us today. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I just got off work right before this, so I'm just like, hey, perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. That worked out super well. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, thanks to everybody who's running, uh, who's helping run uh, horrible games. Thanks to Temp. Thanks to uh, uh, Kuno. Thanks to uh, Myrne. Thanks you to uh, Glitchwitch and everybody else who's helping with this marathon. Uh, could not be possible without everybody's help. Um, if it was just me, Kuno, and Temp, there would be no marathon. Uh, so it's great to have lots of people here. Um, but I guess yeah. Um, with that said, uh, again, uh, just follow me and Rose and Alexis on Twitch, YouTube. Uh, come check us, John. Come hang out in Discord. Uh, Rose, any final thoughts? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're good. Thanks for for letting me uh, l listen to my uh, horrible commentating. But <laughs> nah, I'm sure. Ha! Uh, horrible! Ha 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 ha! Oh, um, I, I'm sure, I'm sure y'all did a great job, um, with commentary. I know you did with the other race, so I, I'm fully confident it was, it was fun to watch. I hope everyone had a great time. Um, but yeah, um, we will see you all right back here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to hand everything back over to Kuno, uh, for some, for any closing remarks. Bye.